welcome to the channel. I'm Jimmy. And I am Kyle. And we are back. We are back. So I've taken five months. Just five. Just a little, little bit. <laughs> um, so as you know, we, we did lose our studio. And I just want to say beforehand, thank you to everybody that stuck around and has remained subscribed. Our subscriber count went up and down and up and down, but it's pretty much stayed where it went when we left. So for you guys that have stuck around, honestly, a massive, massive thank you. And for those that have just stumbled across this video, we asked our subscribers, so feel free to subscribe so that you can play along with this or participate. Uh, we decided to ask them what armies would you like to see. Mine was Imperial Guard or Admech, and as you can see, I'm holding the limited edition Guard Codex. So Imperial Guard one for me, and for Mr. Kyle. Uh, choices was Sisters of Battle and Elder, and Sisters of Battle, you guys have picked the sisters over them, the dirty, dirty Xenos. Yeah. So today is guard versus sisters. You asked for it, and we're giving you it. So. And Mr. Kyle is holding the latest Arcs of Omen Grand Tom pack. The mission we are playing is. Recon reconnaissance? Yeah, I knew I was going to say reconnaissance. Mission? mission. Yes. I got there at the end. I knew I'd do it. I was literally overthinking it so, 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 so much. Um, yeah, so it's the first one from this we've played, so that yeah. should be interesting. Mission 33, technically, 33, and uh, it's not taken hold or domination, it's actually recon sweep. We'll explain more of it as we get into the game, it's pretty much taken hold, yeah. uh, with a bit of extra flavour. Uh, so with that being said guys, there is a subscribe button down there, please feel free to hit it, and if you are new around here, smack it, we're going to hopefully be uploading... Back on our old schedule for a little bit of two weekly, but hopefully some things might fall into place where maybe weekly uploads yeah. could be a possibility. So hit that subscribe button, guys. Smash a like on the video, and uh, let's go see them armies. Let's do it. Right then, guys, this is my thousand points of Imperial Guard. So we'll start with my tank commander. He has the plasma cannon, the X. Terminator, I believe it is, and uh, heavy bolter sponsons and front sponson. I've also upgraded him to have armored tracks because I had five points free. Um, next is my command squad. Yes, I'm using the old Kel model, but for this, he's just a regimental standard. Uh, I have in this the Warlord trait superior tactical training, which allows them to know an extra order. So I've done the Perfectus. And I've given them the Relic Order of the Bastium Stellaris, which basically gives the unit transhuman as well. And then because it's free, Regimental Standard, Vox and Medic. Then going over to my troop choices, five Cadian Shock Troopers. So each squad is basically made up of two special weapons and a Vox. So we have Double Plasma. Over here we have Double Flamer. Over here we have Double Melter. Here we have Melter, Plasma, and here Double Flamers. I would be putting Plasmas in all of the units and Melters, but sadly I'm only limited to three, but with the new box set, hopefully I can uh, increase that amount. And then we move over to the Bulgrins, three with uh, Bulgrin Moles and uh, Slab Shields. And then moving over to my Heavy Support, we have a Punisher with Heavy Bolt Sponsons, and we have an Eradicator with the Nova Cannon and Heavy Bolt Sponsons. Originally, it was meant to be Plasma, but I can't find Nova Plasma turret, so uh, I just had to kind of use this. So that is my thousand points on the nose. My secondaries today are Raise the Banners High, Assassinate, and Engage on All Fronts. There we go, guys. Let's go see that sister's force. And here is the sisters. Led up by a cannoness with a blessed blade uh, and an inferno pistol. Uh, coming in her is five sacrosons with the halberd and they're upgraded with the spear um, on the boss lady the right there. Uh, going over to more elites, uh, I have 10 Archiflagellants. I've always liked these guys, and um, hopefully they'll do the business this way on this game. Uh, going over, I have 
a squad of Repentia and a superior with her as well. Um, just to note, guys, I have made sure all the points adjustments with the balance, um, you know, the balance data slate is in fact. So these guys have gone down and they've gone up. Boo. Um, going over, I have a cheeky five man or five woman squad of sisters just to hold objectives. Nothing too special there. Um, Mortifier. Got to bring her. She's gone down five points as well. So with the uh, flamers and the malls, hopefully they can wipe out some of them squads of guard. And then just down here, we have a little dog martyr. Just, to some, just do a little bit of a sing song along the way to victory. Well, fingers crossed and all that good stuff. And then going over to the, the tank side. We have a Rhino, an Exorcist with Exorcist Missile Launchers and an Immolator with Twin Multi Melters. That's the list. If I've done my maths right, it is 999 points. Uh, I had 10 points left over, so I've given um, the Immolator and the Exorcist 100 Seeker Missiles. I thought I might as well use them points while I've got them. Um, my conviction as well is Bloody Rose. If I'm going to win this, it's going to be in combat. My secondaries are Sacred Ground, A Leap of Faith, which has been remastered in this one, and we'll go through that in game, and Behind Enemy Lines. Uh, I need to be in Jimmy's face. So let's do this. Let's see what the sisters can bring. Right, guys, we are all set up. Um, the Imperial Guard are holding the line very aggressively, hoping for a turn one. If I go second, oh, it's going to be painful against all this here. Hopefully, he can't charge turn one with uh, these ladies. If he does, ouch. This might be a quick game. Uh, right then, you ready, sir? Are you ready for the... Uh, no, is that, sir? But I am absolutely giddy to be back and to roll. Uh, do you want to go first? Do, 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 do. One. Yep, you are going first. Oh dear. Sisters of Battle, turn one. Turn one, command and movement for the sisters. Miracle dice. I scored a six and we're going to use the special sister dice there. That, from the GW website, specifies that is a 6, and the I is 1. So just for reference, you guys, if you get a bit confused. Um, so what I've done, the Dog Martyr has used his litany on the um, Repentia, giving them plus 1 to their Shield of Faith, so now a 5 up in bump, which is lovely stuff. The Repentia Superior has ordered them to advance, I've got a two, a burn a CP to get a six, so that's why they're massively zipped up there, and then the Repentier Superior has just bombed behind there, taking cover, um, just for the time being. The Dogmar has basically made these five sister squad um, double obsec, just in case, and they're holding objective number one, and I've done the action um, Sacred Ground, um, with a dog matter, they can basically still shoot, but because they're behind cover, they can't see the guard down there. So they're just holding this objective one, and they bagged me four victory points by the end of the game with sacred ground. The secondary part of the primary, if that makes any sense to you guys, is hold, basically um, do the sort of similar thing. Any unit can hold any of these objectives. If you're obsec or you are fast attack, you basically get it in the turn you're in. If not, it's the next turn and you bag points at the end of the game for your primary. I think it's 3, 6, 10 and 15 if you're holding all four. Um, so any obsec units like Jimmy's Guard can do it pretty nifty. Um, but single ground bags me more points for now. Um, so that's what I did with that. Uh, the modifier has just normally moved up with its normal range. Hoping to spray some flames onto this block of guard. Going down over here, the Immolator has just moved up. The Exorcist has shuffled up, holding objective number four for me. Uh, Immolator eyeing up some potential decent charges. Uh, decent targets, there we go, got in the end. Uh, what I did, because I thought 
keep the Archiflagellants in the Rhino um, just to keep him a little bit safer but because I got turn one and he was down here I just embarked straight away and moved around here potentially charging over here if I get high enough or potentially the tank. The Rhino has also moved up his full 12 inch so that he can just become a little bit of a tagging threat down the line. But the Archon are currently holding objective two. I've got objective one with all this blob down here and my X6 is holding number four. So three out of four isn't too bad. Yeah, so regards to the Repentia Superior, I can advance and charge as well with her and the Repentia. Hopefully I shouldn't really fail that but you know weird things have happened right getting on to that all in crucial shooting phase coming into the sister shooting phase we have this rhino shooting its storm bolter into these troops here killing one of them we have now the exorcist firing into my tank commander hitting it on um with the heavy bolter but not doing any wounds he is now going to fire his exorcist um Missile launcher. Missile launcher. And I'm going to burn actually three CP. Ooh. I'm going to do smoke launchers to make it subtract one to hit. And ablative plating for two, which subtracts one to the damage. Good so shot. you've already rolled, so you've got six shots. Uh, hitting on fours now. Hitting on fours. Which has actually helped massively. Yep, it's only bad me one, so that's yep. good news for you. Um, um, and then it's. Falls. Nope. Okay, next cool. is, uh, fair one CP benefited you big time. Yeah, and uh, because that'll be sticking around, I imagine your immolator's going to shoot in Yeah, we'll go straight into it. Uh, I'm going to do the heavy bolters into this guard squad here. Okay. Um, and then I'll do the twin mummy melters into this guy. So heavy bolters first. Right, drop it one. Uh, drop it two, sorry. Nope. nope. Okay, that's uh, great. Um, just to see if it's within 12 inch, it no. is just out, unfortunately. No getting plus two, sir. Never mind. Uh, hitting on fours. Yeah. Uh, two hits. Cool. Uh, wounding on fours. Yes. One wound. Just the one wound. Minus. Uh, four or something four. ridiculous. So I will have a six up save. Uh, 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 uh. Damage, sir. Let's see what I get. <laughs> damage two, down to damage one. He has taken a wound. This mortar fire now is firing its heavy flamers into this squad of guardsmen. I have decided to burn another CP. Yes, I know. Uh, for Cadia stands, giving him transhuman. He has got eight hits. So instead of him wounding on twos, he's now wounding on fours, which will probably... Working my favour in some. Yeah, you'd imagine so. Now, all under three, please. Uh, uh, right in the middle, so four for uh, AP minus one. Six of eights. Four dead. Into the charge phase now. These archoflagellants are going into the Bulgrim, needing a seven. The Mortifier is going to try and double tap these two units here, uh, needing an eight to get into both. If he fails, the Repentia are going into this squad here, and the Sister Superior needs an 11 to get in. The Repentia need uh, seven, yeah, no, seven. No, eight. Was it seven, seven or eight? Seven, seven. seven. They need seven, he needs an eight. Uh, but because of the buffs the whip, uh, the Superior gets, um, they get three dice, and she gets three dice to see if she gets charged, so it's pretty tasty. Okay. Um, so Where would you like to start? I'll start Mortal Fire first. Okay. Uh, so they need an eight. Dun, 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 dun. Um, right, what's likely to get in a seven? Mm, like, yeah, I think. He decided not to re roll, so we are going into the Archiflagellas into the Bullgrings. For five, nope, they don't get in. Um, hmm, what's your pressure here? Uh, I'm gonna re roll that. Okay. Okay. Even a seven gets in on an eight. Uh, right, let's keep on camera. Uh, the Repentia. I will overwatch with this squad using my last CP for now, but we will see if you get in first. Okay. Yeah. Get in. I uh, don't quickly roll the Sister Superior as well. She yeah. needs an 11. 
Uh, nine doesn't get a power off. Okay, cool. cool. I will uh, do my overwatch and we'll be back to see how many of this Repentia survive, which I imagine will be quite a lot. So here we go with the Arco Flagellant, burning one CP for extremists. Uh, trigger words to give them, what is it, an extra attack or something? It makes them loads of attacks. And what also I've done, just to let you guys know, is obviously I consolidated, I've tagged this squad as well. Yep. So they've just sort of anchored down. Um, but yeah, I'll get all the dice off camera because it's quite a lot. And then we'll see what I can get. And I'll just mention it over here. Well, you, you, you get your dice, sir. Okay. Um, over here as well, Kyle is going to eventually do this and get into my command squad with probably at least two of them. So, uh, the, because these guys have transhuman built in because of their relic, uh, and they've got a five up fill no pain, I'm hoping the command squad survives. Uh, I think he does only get like six attacks against the command squad if that's the case, and then the rest will be going into this squad. Had I not burnt all my CP on my tank to keep it on uh, 12 wounds, I would have been putting Cadia stands on this squad as well. But unfortunately, no CP, so that is me out of luck. Hopefully, uh, this game doesn't end too quickly, but uh, we will see and find out. Right, guys, we'll be back in a moment. So here we have it. One attack going into the squad, and the rest going into the Bulgrims. Going into the Bulgrims, going into the squad. So we'll let Kyle pick these up with his tiny hands. <laughs> yeah, and, possibly. Uh, and we'll be back in a moment. A sprinkling of dice. Uh, 22 wounds went through on these Bulgrim. Uh, need fours, but as z so I get to reroll um, all hits and fours to wound because I am strength five. Yeah, and I am toughness five, apparently. Uh, so I'm going to do it in threes because of the wounds. Needing threes. So, yes. Uh, one guy is down to two wounds, so one, he's dead. And then next one. Totally fine. Next one. Totally fine. Next one. Down to wounds. So we're all two. He's fine. Oh, six is fine. Another two. Fine. Another two. Down a wound. Then one at a time. One. Fine. One dead. So last guy on one wound. Fine. Now for your commando, it gets like another eight attack. So we'll come back again with the saves. So not the best roll from the boss of the uh, Arco. So only managed to wound him three times, even though it's freeze to wound. Yes. So here we go. Uh, he has lost one wound. He is down to two wounds remaining. Right. So we'll just do the last Arco that's into the guard off camera, and we will get into the nitty gritty of the chainsaw sisters. <laughs> Right, so the uh, one repent here is going into the command squad. The rest are going into the squad. There is 18 attacks in total. Hitting on fours, re-rolling, killing on twos. Ow. This is going to hurt. Right, you in. Right, we re-roll that because it's caught. Oh, yeah, gone. Yeah. 15 go through. Twos to kill. The squad has been wiped, funnily enough. Right, the one repenti are now going into the sister. He's already consolidated the unit in. Uh, uh, so two, but one. So that's an extra hit, but then I get to reroll anyway. Uh, nope. So it's two hits. Um, Falls to wound because yeah. of transhuman. Nope. Nothing. Okay. Cool. Lots of freeze. And uh, my attacks back with the squad. I will have a look at all the profiles. I'm pretty sure they're mainly one, but the commander with his power fist. Well, you never know. So there are attacks from the regular guardsmen. I have managed to do five wounds. So, sir, if you'd like to do your... Five open wounds first from Shield of Faith, powered up from the Dogmata. So, two are okay. And then it's five up, feel no pain. Yes. Nope. Three are dead. Cool. And then I'll just get my attacks for my commander with his power fist. Uh, he gets three attacks. He's hitting on fours because it's a power fist. Uh, he's hit all four times and wounding on twos. Mm -hmm. uh, wounds three times, minus so much stupid, but you've got him one. And it's multiple damage. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <sighs> it's not bad. One goes through. Yeah. Uh, two. So I think he's damaged two, yeah. We'll do two damage. Nope, another one's dead. So. Dead. How many lost in total? Four. Oh, that's not bad. No, How no, many no. do you have? One, two, three, four, five, Seven, six, I think. Seven. 
Cool. Command squad holding its own a little bit. The Bulgrin wants some. He's charged into these frantic um, four, hoping to cleave some down after his fallen brothers have been smushed by the whips. Go for it. So what are we getting? Cool. Uh, hits on threes, gets five attacks. Wow, five attacks. Yeah, no, we're all that one. Okay. Uh, chain ball on soldiers doesn't work in combat. And then uh, smushing on threes. Two. Uh, AP? It's like AP one damage two, sir. Ooh, okay. Let me get my dice to see what I can do. So two went through. They've got two wounds each. They've got five mm -hmm. fill my pain. So first, first guy is a wound. wound. And then he needs two double fives. No. So he is dead. That's it. One is dead. So that's the end of combat. So extremist trigger word is a brilliant strategy for one CP, but the downfall is on any ones at the end of the phase, they die. So like the microchip blows up. Let's see how many die. Two, okay, it's a fair, fair one. You know, it is what it is. Two die, um, okay, so we'll just regroup and see if anyone needs morale and we'll go from there, guys. Uh, morale, so everyone is absolutely fine. I am gonna burn two CP for insane bravery with these guys, just so the command squads, just sort of anchor down a little bit um, and if they fall out, you know, at least they can't do anything particularly important. Um, looking at the rules just off camera, um, as far as we can see, orders can go ahead in combat. So, do you can... yeah, it's uh, in the it literally right. it says pick a unit and um, yeah, pick a unit and they order them. And because it's in the command phase, I can technically do it and then I can I can flee with them. Yeah, so I mean, I just also totally sure you know, lots in combat you shouldn't do but the rules say you can so you absolutely can so everyone is absolutely fine morale um these guys i'm not going to chance um and that is my turn done um behind the lines not quite which is a little bit unfortunate um yeah pretty much on the line <laughs> but yeah on the line i'd get points but not behind any of the lines um sacred ground i did bag that uh, holding this one because it's a no man's land. You get four for um, in no man's land and then you would get one in your own deployment, which is down here. Um, so that is something um, pretty all right, to be honest here. Um, at least I've got into his lines. I've sort of hold, held some stuff back. Yeah, he has three very functional tanks. But yeah, we shall see. Just referencing i have a six from the start of the game and i got five for killing uh, that whole unit over there and i will be gaining another one when jimmy starts his turn so astronautarum imperial guard the men of the imperiums turn one coming at you So it is the command phase of the Imperial Guard. It is time for my orders. I'm having a little thinky dink. This command squad is going to order, uh, take aim onto this squad here. And then because they're within six inches, it bounces onto them. And they're within six inches, so it bounces onto these. So they add one to the hit rolls and a P. And then they're going to box through to this squad here, duty and honour, so I can still perform actions if I've fallen back, advanced, and I can still shoot. Um, then that bounces onto this squad, but it doesn't really make much of a difference. I could advance them if I wanted to and still shoot, but where am I going to advance them to? Yeah. Uh, and then this guy has done the mechanised orders onto these two, basically, in the squadron, to uh, Gunners Kill and see Sight, which is a re-rolling ones. So that is my orders done. Now it is time for the movement phase. So let's get to it. Right, end of my movement phase. I've moved some guys around here. I'm going to be cagey for maybe this turn and next turn, and then I'll be able to push it out. Um, I lost a lot more than I was hoping for, but what can I do? It, it's squishy men. Um, I made the mistake of uh, pulling the melter guns out of this squad, thinking, oh, I don't need them now. I thought they were going to die by this guy. So I was pulling them back to make the charge a bit worse, but hey hell. Right, I've moved these guys around. You have seen the orders. 
there is no psychic phase so we're just going to get a hell of a lot of shots going off across this board so we'll be back with you in a moment forgot to quickly mention i've done recon sweep here on three and uh like i put on our community post my handy little cheat sheet thank you mikey at hellstorm wargaming for this wonderful idea Flamer time, baby. Two flamers got seven shots combined into the Arcos, so forced to wounds. Yes. Uh, not bad. No. Uh, fa four so far, sir. Okie dokie. So I'll just do these right now. Yeah. Uh, oh, that's nine. But Okay, so one is dead. <laughs> We would like to proceed with... Yeah, I'll just get the rest of the dice and whack them on. Okay, okay. After all the last guns and flamers, free Arco flagellants died by the humble guard. Now we're going on to this Lemon Russ. He's going to heavy bolt us into the Arcos and the Nova... Nova Cannon! Nova Cannon. Nova Cannon. Nova Cannon. Uh, he's going right over the battlefield, over all the heads, into my Mortifier. Yeah, we'll start with the heavy bolters. They are hitting on fours, but I'm re-rolling ones because of uh, gun and skill on sight. Okay, okay. Uh, any sixes auto wound because I am born soldiers. They get it as well, yeah. Yes. Everybody gets it basically. Um, so unfortunately, I didn't roll any of those, but I did roll up to two. No, uh, meant to be. And then uh, threes to wound. Mm -hmm. Only two, only two, sir. Um, but there is damage two. Alright, so start with the first one. Uh, he's on one wound. Uh, he's dead. Okay, killing one. Six automatic shots plus D3. So Jimmy's going to roll the D3. <laughs> For one. Wow, wow. So seven shots. Uh, these are hitting on threes because of the turret uh, weapon. So hitting on threes, we're rolling ones. That's what you'd like to see, sir. Uh, there has been an automatic wound, which is very nice. It is strength six. I believe your toughness five. Yes. Wounding on threes. Um, yeah. There you go, sir. Five. Uh, is only minus two. So I believe you're three up save with your song of us. So five. And it's damage two. Uh, it is dead. Bang, bang, bang. Doesn't explode, does it? No, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> the tank commander's plasma is going into the immolator, but the heavy bottlers are going first into the arco flagellant. Uh, six went through, um, so I will roll them um, two at a time. Uh, one's dead. One dead. Two dead. And... Uh, and he is no. dead. Squad is white. Uh, my tank commander now. Uh, need the D6. It's D6 plus 3 for the plasma cannon. So D6. I need 6 here ideally. I get 4, which isn't bad. Uh, so that is 3 plus 4 is 7. Uh, I am overcharging, so any 1s here is going to hurt. But any 6s will automatically wound, which is very nice. So I think it's going straight through your armor at minus I guess it's going to wound, but... Oh, do you now? Shield of Faith and all that. Damn Damn that shield of Faith! Uh, so I'm looking for 6s here. Any 1s is bad news. Two bad newses. <laughs> One okay. And then the rest uh, needing 3s, I think, to wound you. It's strength 8. Yes. yes. All of them but one. So that is four uh, sixes. Uh, Not um, that is nine damage. Very nice. Uh, what does it leave on? Three. Um, I mean, what did you lose? Just, 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 just to I save. lost two. I lost two. So, boom. I'm down to ten. Cool. Yeah. I will get a special dice for this a bit later. This. Squad on your right and this squad on your left are going to shoot everything into the Repentia, trying to hopefully finish them off. Will it survive in five, four, three, two, one? And just like that, they are no 
more. Um, I get a miracle dice if they all die. I got a one, so I've got a six, a five, a two, and a one in my pool. Um, yeah, leap of faith, I'm gonna burn the six to get the points, so, but I've got a mixed bag. Um, so now, this guy with his Gatling Punisher cannon, is that right? Yes. Hey, check me out with my guard knowledge. Uh, he's going into this emulator with the two wounds remaining. Yikes. 20 shots. Hitting on threes, six is auto wound, which is very handy seeing it's strength five. Uh, so auto wound, auto wound. Uh, there's one heavily cocked one there. Ooh. Nope, nothing. Uh, so he gets to reroll his ones because of his order. Uh, don't make much difference. Uh, right, okay, I'll just get all of this. We'll Okie dokie! This was the wounds and then the two extra added in. For seven at minus one, it is a four up save on this emulator with his two wounds remaining. Oh, I've already failed it, but let's <laughs> keep rolling. Hey! Woo! And the heavy bolters are wasted. Does it explode? I don't Ooh. think it makes. Yeah, it might do. Because awesome. the girl's inside. No, it implodes at you. <laughs> uh, and then you've just pressed the button, yeah. One sister was destroyed by the flames of the immolator, but they have sort of seek refuge in this cover. But wait! The humble guard are first in my bloods, and they're going to try and charge this squad down here, needing a seven, because they can run through these pipes and all that good stuff. You have a CP? Ooh, I'm not going to wait. <laughs> oh, fair I'm not gonna it makes sense. It absolutely makes sense. Right, um, that is that. I'll let Jimmy work out his points, all that good stuff, and I'll let him come back at you at the end of his turn one. So the lads didn't make it into combat, so that brings my turn one to a close. Recon went off on his, giving it to three points. I did not get assassinate. I did not get unengaged, because we are pretty much all in just this table quarter. Um, um, didn't get didn't get assassinate, didn't get engaged, and I've not done raised banners on here yet. So uh, that's my that's my next plan. Don't you worry, lads. Don't you worry. I'd rather get the uh, the objectives in the middle because it's actually worth more than raised banners. In a very very good position, managed to kill the emulator. That does a lot of damage. Uh, I've kept my CP for this turn, so there there is that, I suppose. Um. What else is there, sir? I can't remember. Oh, yes, that's right. You have a... Query. So, Leap of Faith um, is re-sculpted, remastered. Um, so, basically, at the end of the battle round, you can discard a Miracle Knight and you get points determining. Uh, six gives you three. Um, and then, Four, five is two. Yeah, and then and one, two, three, three is... So, I've had a six in my pole, so I've burned that to so three CP, which is quite good... For a sister's game, I think. So, so if you get tabled and it's really close, you can still technically play yeah. and rack up the miracle dice between and you can still get them. Or if you've got something hidden at the back. So basically what you're telling me is it's the end of my turn, you score three, and I only scored three. And you scored a few more in your last turn anyway. Which... I did, I did. And you're about to score one, two, and more. So you're about to get 12 points for this. Uh, because I am an idiot and I'm only on one. I should have at least aimed for that too. But oh well, what can you do, ladies and gentlemen? It's quite close to the minute. So let's uh, crack on. Let's get on with it. And let's get to that sister's turn two. Turn two for the sisters, getting a two on the miracle dice. Oh dear, that's turn one guard. Considering I went and charged was pretty devastating. My um, main melee is no more, but we move on. Um, so the um, this this squad, can't think of the names, is moved up, uh, eyeing up some targets down here. Exactly. Thank you very much. Um, she has omitted her prayer before she has died off and left the sisters to give them a five up f uh, f faith, faith shield. Yes, we're going to go with that. Faith shield. It's a new way. Uh, these have um, scoured the site on this objective. This is the primary, so they're getting uh, free for that one. And there's anchoring back. 
um, just to make sure they hold that objective. And the dogma has made them double obsecs, so they're counting as 10 obsec models, which is pretty nice. Next is just slightly edged forward, but nothing particularly major. And that, my good friends, is pretty much it. Oh, yeah, and this superior has moved up to try some combat down there. One thing I got to mention, and some people may have flagged it, the Rhino, uh, my absolute intentions for turn one was for him to tag this tank down here just to stop him from shooting, but I, I totally forgot. It's my fault. It's a silly mistake, and I just have to live with it. That would have potentially stopped him destroying my uh, mortifier, but that is what it is. Um, you know, six months off playing the game, you're bound to make some mistakes. Um, so that is that. A few bits of bots of shooting, mainly pistols, infernal pistols, that all sort of like good stuff. Uh, a lot of it's going to be off camera because it's just pistol shots and we'll come back to uh, the Exorcist and see if that can do actually any damage this time rather than whiffing on this guy. We're back soon guys. So how this worked here, she shot into here, caused a wound uh, but did nothing. The dog Marta hiding in... Can you see? You can just see her, she's, she's very... Backlit. You can't see you though. You, he was waving like an idiot. Um, she, <laughs> she just shot. Uh, these guys did nothing. <laughs> these ladies here shot into the Bulgrim, did nothing. But the cannoness said, nah, I'm going to shoot my Inferno pistol into these boys. Splatting one in the face. <laughs> Victory! <Yeah. laughs> um, I believe somebody shot into something else but didn't do anything might have been it's pretty dire um, let's face yeah. it um, it's just, just the exorcist to go so I'm going to do the heavy bolter into the bulgrim yep if you'd like to we'll, we'll start that now we'll do We'll do that we'll, we'll get this done we'll, uh, you'll miss with two no miss with one yeah let's not talk about this yep uh, brilliant sounds brilliant thanks sisters um, and then I'm going to burn two CP for um, devastating refrain because of this is deemed as yeah giant building, um, so I can shoot the missile launcher, and I'm going to go into the um, tank commander. Yes, indirect fire has changed, and I believe is it minus one. Yeah, to so hit? it's forced to hit, so pretty much like the glass turns. Um, minus you. one on your, uh, oh no, you get plus one armor save, which makes no difference because then it technically minuses and. Well, class is minus uh, so these are how many shots I will get for the duration. So mm. that's three, that's five, that is seven. It's not bad. Not bad at all. And you I get seven dice. Well, that's like a four to hit. Ooh. Oh dear. Um, two. 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 Oh, so annoying. If it was direct, <laughs> it would have been five. But then last time, you had freeze and they yeah. did that. So that's, it's, all, it's all part of the game. Uh, um, force? Yeah. Uh, just, just the one. one. Uh, it's a minus one, so it's a three up save, this. And he's bossed it. Unfortunately, that is it. Um, Charging. Might as well keep, keep the camera rolling. So uh, I think not. <gasps> I think we're going to pause it there, sir. Sacrosons and the cannoness. So the sacrosons are going to... Are you filming it? God damn right, I'm filming you. No! <laughs> okay, right, that's put me on pressure. Sacrosons are going to charge the... Bold Grim. Going, going into Bold Grim. is going to charge this <laughs> squad here. How dare you, sir? Dog Mortal is going to charge this unit here. Ooh. Uh, and Superior is going to charge this unit here. Okay, okay, okay. Interesting. Um, do I overwatch with any of them? No. I think. Bold Grim. Yeah, yeah, with the ball. <laughs> he just, just, just froze his mind. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Um, I think... No, not think. Not think, you think? I might... Overwatch. How many wounds does a dog Marta have? Four, I think. Four, and her armor save is three. Correct. So, does she have an invul? Yeah, they all got six up in guns. All got six up in guns, so she'd have a six up armor save. Yeah, I'm, all I'm thinking of <gasps> is these plasma guns. I'll overwatch with the squad. Okay, cool. So uh, we'll do. I'll do the rest then, and then I'll do the dogmata. We'll do the dogmata left, and we'll we'll film this overwatch because with my born warriors mm -hmm. and being Cadians, I gain additional yeah, shots and hits and everything. So it could, be, so it could be nice. She could die. Um, 
let's face it, she's automatically in, so we won't waste time on there. Uh, would you like to roll this and roll this? But I'll let you get your dice ready first. Okay. So, uh, starting with the sacrosancts first, going into here, needing a five. Ooh. Uh, I am going to burn it, because yeah. they signed me up, and it's this game over okay. anyway. Just, but we get it, and then, and then Caroness, Caroness. is free. <gasps> <laughs> So as we said, Overwatch is in effect with this squad against the Dogmata. So let's see what Jimmy can do. I'm going to overcharge, because I might as well. Uh, six is will a masculine wound because I am born uh, soldiers. Mm -hmm. And um, six is generating an extra hit as well. So two shots from the first guy, because it's within rapid fire. Um, hopefully I don't get a one. <laughs> He's dead. <laughs> and the other guy... Doesn't do anything. Okay, so one guy's dead, so I'll just remove him. Oh dear. Uh, and yeah. then the last guns, here we go. This is where I need sixes. Okay, lots of sixes. You get a lot of sixes. Lots of sixes. Uh, five. Five uh, regular answers. Sick. Just. That's it. That's it, yeah. I was hoping that the overcharge would have taken a couple of wounds off. That's she a... has lost three. Wow, that's a. Abysmal. Right, but does she get in? For yes, seven, she, she does. does. Right, okay, so she's just hanging on, but she <laughs> manages to get into combat. The dog Marta now is exacting her revenge against this squad for taking three of her wounds. Uh, she gets how many attacks, good sir? Uh, three normally, but four because of Woody Rose. Cool. Um, and then again, exploding sixes, which I keep forgetting, but luckily it's not really affected much. Okay, so three hits and then three to wound. Three to kill. One dead. Okay, so getting two. One is dead. Where would you now like to go to? I uh, won't get your dice, but uh, I suppose it doesn't really matter. I've got that. Cool. Repentia Superior Lady, she is going next. Six attacks. Incredible. Hitting on three. So drop two, but then next point six. And then it is falls. Okay, so four dead, wasn't it? Yep, four dead. So I'll just uh, take these three and then that guy there. Sweet. Oop, knocked him over. Sorry, chap. Sorry, old boy. Uh, cool. And then we will see how many attacks you get with these guys. Cannon S now. Here we go. How many attacks, sir? Five. Uh, five. Hitting on twos. Ooh. No sixes, but a soul drop on. Brilliant. Uh, freeze to kill. That is <sighs> only one. Why? Dead. Why? 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 Sacrosants now going into the bonehead, hitting him on threes, you were saying. Right? Yeah, I'm going to burn CP to get to plus one hit, but for the sake of a two wound bull bullgrim, is it really <laughs> worth it? Probably not. <laughs> Okay, free to hit. This is when I get lots of tears. I'm like, I wish I did it. Um, just let me do a check. Yep. So it's a reroll them ones because of the Kaness is still nearby. That's a little bit healthier. To be fair, you would have just wasted the CP, right? Yeah. Uh, freeze to wound because from six. Oh, someone is up. Someone is really not liking me. So three at AP. Oh, so six is... He, he is dead. Do you know what? They actually get fight on death. No, I'm only joking, they don't really. Uh. <laughs> Going into this combat now, I've already done the attacks, I've already done the wounds. Five have gone through. Here we go, sir. No AP. No AP. Definitely, definitely a cock's She is still alive on one wound remaining. Oh no! Uh, this and this and this we will do off camera and we'll come back at the end of Mr. Giles turn. Turn two over and done with. Um, scoring 12 on the primary was pretty tasty. Bagging myself. Myself? Very Yorkshire there. Um, three, four... 
this objective when we um, retrieve this sort of data on the primary. So I've got 15 in total, but obviously that's the end of the game. Behind the lines did go in just, that's my interpretation. Um, so bagging me three points because of the Saxons holding this tank down. Uh, and the leap of faith is still ongoing. I've got a five, so we're technically back two points, but again, I could maybe get a six in the next couple of waves from Jimmy's uh, shooting. You know, if someone dies, etc., etc. So points wise, I'm doing okay for the time being. You know, a thousand point games, you don't really score ridiculous that easily. So, guard turn two. Let's see if they can level up like they did the first turn. And uh, yeah, not looking forward to this one. Welcome to my command phase. Uh, only scoring four for the primary here. Um, orders this squad going to order take aim onto this squad uh, to give them plus one to their shooting and AP. But you're saying to yourself, but I'm in combat. Why waste such a thing? Well, because I gave these guys the Perfectus orders, I can also order get back into the fight. So I can fall back and shoot. Oh, Mr. Kyle is doing cleaning up whilst I'm doing my thing. You silly, silly man. Um, and then because of how the platoons work, it bounces and bounces and bounces and bounces. So these guys both get take aim and get back into the fight, which is very handy. I don't know if Mr. Kyle mentioned last time. Did you mention you lost three wounds? In this combat? Uh, probably tried to like dis. Yeah, we we like should that. we should have filmed that one, but we didn't expect three wounds to to be lost. Uh, and with these guys getting tagged, uh, this guy is going to order uh, Gunners Kill on Sight onto these guys as well. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, we are now going to go into my movement phase. And this is going to be a big one. Before we continue, I forgot about morale. Guess what? They ran away. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay. So, uh, no orders have bounced onto them, the guys. Mr. Kyle was right when I was about to move him. Uh, so it just bounces onto this squad here. Now we go into my movement phase. Right, that's the end of my movement. These guys have moved up here, ready to fire into these two. He's fallen back from combat, so can't do anything this turn annoyingly because his weapon would have been very handy shooting into this. Uh, but these guys are kind of screwed because I've got these units here to shoot. Oh, I just realised I raised banners here, so I can't shoot them. Yes. Hmm. Okay. So it, it slightly changes the plan. Actually, it doesn't at all because I can shoot the Punisher into these. So yeah, the plan's not changed that much. It's just an extra couple of shots. So I will pass the camera over to Mr. Kyle and we shall begin. So I've been one CP for Holy Smart Screen. Um, so this round is minus one to hit. Uh, still went through and did one damage on this Exorcist. Actually, no, it's two, because it's damage two heavy bombers. Wah, wah. Uh, now it's the Gatling cannon into the Sacrosan. Sacrosan! Here we go. Uh, needing threes. Uh, Reroll the ones because of my order. My order. My order. Right, okay, so I think I've only missed with two. Yeah. They have. I've auto wounded with. What? That's an, uh, four. That's not bad. There is a stratagem where I could have done it with fives, and that would have been hella nasty because that would have been all of these. <laughs> um, anyway, fives to wound. Uh, yeah. And five to wound. Two. Yeah, it's done five, isn't it? Against Sacrosons, the toughness three. Oh, fucking hell, I thought it was. Five. <laughs> like... <laughs> What? Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, uh, you can be tough as five if you really want, but so, uh, no. No. I had two all wounds as well, didn't I? So two, three, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen, sir. Thirteen. AP. One. So three up saves, I believe. Me and my little tiny hands freeze. They are finito. 
Shooting with this tank now into the Exorcist, uh, because I am regimental, I have bone soldiers. I'm going to use ingrained precision, which means my bone soldier's ability goes an auto wounds of five instead of a six. Being a strength seven, uh, strength six turret and strength five heavy bolters, it makes sense. Plus, you've got your minus one to hit, so I am hitting on fives with the turrets. Not the turret, sorry. Yeah, the, yeah I know, we did. Yeah. Sponsor, so. so, this will just be auto wounds, which is kind of handy. Oh, let me re roll that one. Uh, and then re roll the ones. So, that is four automatic wounds go through. That was a five or something. Um, four missed. So, if you'd like to roll these. Uh, uh, six he's, damage. He's minus one. So yeah, six damage. Do you know? What's that put you down to? Three. Three. And then I have a D three with the Nova Cannon. Uh, Ooh, six. So nine shots. Big bumba. Uh, these do hit on fours, but fives auto wound. Yeah. So. Spicy. Okay, that's actually really good. That is that many. Roll uh, you two. Yeah, roll them. Uh, these need fives. One more. Uh, these are minus two as well. Two, How many, sorry? Four, six and minus two, two damage a pop. Uh, you have finited. He's dead. He's dead. I mean, it's an absolute token gesture. No, he doesn't. He is no more. See you by Exist, who did one wound, you little. <laughs> So after the Exist was destroyed, um, this command squad has shot all the guns into this dogma. The lone pistol managed to clink through, so it's do or die. Um, the inner free up. Dogma lives. This squad now is going to try and finish off the dogma like the command squad failed, but with all the added buffs and commands, um, you like to think her <laughs> days are well and truly over. Right, let's go for it. So, hitting on uh, threes technically, because they um, normally hit on fours, and I get plus one for taking. So, hitting on threes. Sixes, auto hit. So that auto hits and does four more additional wounds. Quite a lot going into it. And I think there was that many uh, wounding on fours. So that is two, four, six, eight, ten last gun shots uh, with a minus one. Yeah, Dog Martyr's dead. Uh, I'm going to burn one CP for Martyred. Um, so you gain, so I'm going to use Martyred, which basically gets me two Miracle Dice for one CP. Um, so I'll roll them off camera and I'll let you guys know what I get once I roll it. Final shooting now, the squad, infantry squad going into this lady as well. And because of shenanigans, they have take aim as well. So I'll start with the last guns hitting on threes. Uh, do not do that. That hit auto wounds and does a wound. Uh, wounding you on balls. Mm -hmm. uh, just the one. So three armor saves at minus one. She's down to one more wound. Yes. Yeah. Uh, last pistol hits on a four. Wounds on a. Doesn't wound on a three. And then finally, two flamers doing. Nine shots, so I can quickly grab these and wounding you on threes. And that is eight. eight. Well, I'll use one of my fives just yep. to kind of eradicate one of them. So um, seven three up saves required. I've managed to pick up like nine. Uh, drop one more. Okay, so uh, she mm. is dead. dead. Mm. I'll burn my last two CP for divine intervention. 
So I think I'll burn three of these dice. I'll keep that one. She comes back after this battle round with three runes remaining. <clears throat> so the um, boss lady is back with three runes remaining, and she's just like, "On what the what the where where's where where is my army?" <laughs> Um, but it's going to get a lot worse because there's going to be a tank charging at her. So which one of this? This this one here? Just this one here. It's uh, going to charge into, or try and charge into the Cannoness. And then I'm also going to charge the Command Squad into the Repentia Woman. Superior. So we'll start with the tank needing an 8. Yeah. It's <laughs> an 11. Brilliant. And then these uh, lovely 5 Command Squad guys needing a 4. Yeah, they're in. Yeah. Um... Cool, I'll measure, I'll get that. Let's just go boop, boop. Oh and dear. then uh, oh boop, no. boop, boop, boop. <laughs> um, you've got no CP to thingy. I will use the stratagem crushem. So I get weapon skill four now. So I get six attacks. That's right, six with a tank. Hit it on fours. Oh, Any sixes to wound is a mortal wound. So if I get three sixes to wound, at least she's dead. So hitting on uh, fours. Oh, uh, you killed her. No, 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 it's... Uh... Oh, let me just read the full thing. Oh, but... Because if it's sixes to hit and she's got three more wounds... Then... Oh, is it two? But I think okay. it's sixes to wound. Okie dokie. Um, two's to wound. <laughs> yeah, so it was to wound rather than to hit, guys, so... so... Three sixes would be nice. No. Somehow I didn't wound you. But uh, two wounds, uh, minus nothing. Okay. Cool. Uh, and then attacks going in here. Just let me grab all my dice. And okay. Command squad here. Veterans are gonna plinker with their butt of their las guns. Eight attacks hitting on fours. Uh, wounding her on fours. Shame six. Shame. Where, where's the cushion on that? Uh, what so, is this madness? So that is uh, yeah. That's just yes. Uh, she's lost one room. AP nothing. AP nothing. Not okay, so she lost one room, so she's okay. on down to three. Uh, fists falls. I'm gonna burn a CP. <gasps> I'm gonna burn a CP. I'm not done a reroll, so. Yeah. You've gone too far. I know, I know. Uh, so here we go with um, twos. Both of them at minus three. Uh, six ups. Oh dear, oh dear. She did? She did. She did. She's well and truly. She did. Power fist at face, mate. She's did. Right then, guys, a devastating turn for the Imperial Guard, managing to wipe out the Sacrosancts, the Dogmata, the Repenti, uh, technically the Canoness, but that cheeky woman came back and did two wounds against the tank. Yeah. <laughs> Woohoo! So I managed to gain six for Assassinate. When it comes to engage on all fronts, I still technically don't have it because these guys are in. Ooh. Oops, so there's These guys are technically in this table quarter, but they're not within three inches, so I don't get it. Those guys, definitely not getting it. Um, these tanks would get it, and these guys would get it, because they're more than three inches away from there. But unfortunately, still no engage. Uh, but I will start racking that up shortly, seeing that Mr. Kyle only has these, this kind of S and this. Um, technically, I get banners, one in my next command phase. So I'll start racking up those points. Once I kill them, I can start getting it there and doing the data thing. And yeah, I, I think this is a long way back from Mr. Kyle. Um, so... Zoom on the face. Uh, yeah, I, I'm i going to concede, guys. The Jimmy sort of bullet pointed the reasons. Yeah. Um, I have... Seven models on the table, five of them. Oh, and one of those is a rhino. Yeah, told you directly about that rhino. Don't it's the rhinos. The, being first turn, I mean, we won't go into it too much till the end of the game, but first turn, you know, did really well, but the, just the sheer brutality of all the orders on his, your first turn really yeah. just cemented it. Um, and then losing my, you know, 
and your tank weapons, there's not really much I can really do against them. And I knew it wouldn't be because it was all about ripping through all the troop, which I actually really didn't do as much as I thought I would have done. Uh, so yeah, we'll concede. We'll try as best to sort of accumulate points just for more... Just to sort of you guys to know off for Jimmy's sort of like pride, but it's going to be a long slide, let's face yeah. it. I mean, you know, I, I got some points and stuff like that, and Miracle Dice, whatnots and all that, but yeah, we'll, um, we'll come back at the wrap up, guys. So there we have it. That is the end of that battle. And what a doozy. The final score was 69 to the Imperial Guard, yeah. and 37 to the Sisters of Battle. So, yeah, um, no, I was, yeah, I was gonna say, uh, the sisters did better points, um, than I thought they were gonna do, mm -hmm. to honest here. Um, I got off the mark pretty well with stuff, and then it just all crumbled. The, the guard codex is super strong, um, and my army was always gonna find it hard to crack open tanks. I didn't really do anything to your tanks, realistically. I mean, I think I, I lost four wounds. Yeah, I had the potential, and yeah, a lot of people in the comments and in tournaments have gone, why, Kyle, why are you bringing tanks? And I obviously, one, I love the sisters' tanks, I think they're like cool and intricate and stuff. But two, I've always done really well with them. Okay. I have, if you go back to some previous battle reports, they have done the business, they really, really have. Uh, this one, not so much. No, I, I generally think the Immolator did. A wound with the heavy bolters because of the nip. Oh no no no! The um, it was the bullet that went through and it got a two, which oh. was a one because of the stupid strat he did, and then he died. <laughs> like he the got, uh, got blasted by a plasma gun. Well, yeah. you, you saw, and then it got plates <laughs> off by a gun. Um, but bonkers! It just it it does really sort of show where the guard tanks are compared to the sisters tanks yeah. and other factor you know factions but we, we're just obviously referring to these two you know being tough than seven comparison to toughness eight and mm. the wound sort of characteristics like exodus has 11 wounds comparison which you know does does make a difference you know two double six on the last cannon game over for it so i think comparison to you you need three you know if you're rolling sixes and stuff but yeah like i like where the guard codes is gone, I've always admired you playing them because I've always liked them. A little sort of back thing from us when we went to Warhammer World for a double tournament, very many, many, very rare moons ago. Like, oh god. Really, really, really quick story. Uh, we used to work in a German supermarket. Uh, it begins with A for those that know. You are still there. I That's how we met. I, I left about five years ago now. Um, but when we decided to do this, well, when we got back into 4K, yeah, yeah, yeah. we went to Warhammer World and I said, yes, I'll bring my Imperial Guard. I've got a couple of thousand points for Imperial Guard. And then they were like, this is how detachments work in this edition. And I was like, oh, so I must have spent about £200 getting my Imperial Guard just to make a battalion for this doubles tournament. Uh, so we went to the doubles tournament. We did all right. Yeah, yeah. Considering we were new to the edition, I think we won three, lost two, something like that. But yeah, crazy <laughs> that two hundred pound back then investment was a big thing, and now it's just like just oh, yeah. just a just a blip. <laughs> I don't know with regards to this channel, but yeah. no, it was a really good insight to to kind of see guard do guard things. You know, orders obviously a lot more simple back then and obviously layers of with a ninth edition dropping but it really got me to admire them the whole idea of like the humble guardsmen sort of standing the ground against all these big nasty foes it always makes it makes me smile mm -hmm. so again sisters maybe not so much big nasty foes but it, i'm really glad that guard had done the done done the business basically mm -hmm. in this first game so yeah it's really really good to see um guard will probably come back in a game against another one that's done particularly well, you know, try and like match play them a little bit, or we'll do another poll where you guys decide what you want to do. Um, you know, people love guard, so I reckon they'll probably win a lot of the polls, yeah. and that's absolutely fine with us because <laughs> uh, Jimmy's got a lot more to showcase, and with the new stuff coming out as well, yeah, I'm sure the that'll drop and stuff. Bane Russ coming out, or the um, I forgot the other. Bane Ross or the Lehman Blade. 
I'm not calling it the <clears throat> tank. It's, no, no, it doesn't need to be named after that horrible prime You can tell you uh, like space wolves. Yeah, man, I am definitely a space wolf at heart. And screw you, Valrak, for liking those banana boys. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Clip, feel, somebody feel free to clip this and send it to him. Yeah, and then he'll laugh at 170,000 subscribers. <laughs> yeah, just um, a bit. Man, man sick day <laughs> as well. But uh, anyway, back onto the... the uh, the thing at hand, uh, yeah, definitely. I will be getting a new tank. Uh, we've already got the new ordinance teams that are more or less painted. I was thinking of bringing them to this game, but then when it came to making the list and secondaries and everything, I thought, no, I'll leave them at home. I'll bring them, definitely bring them to a bigger game, but for a thousand points, they're not, not really worth the pointage, I don't think. Um, yeah, and we're back. Um, but, Sorry about that, I was just checking to see how long our time has left. Uh, go on. But yeah, I'm going to say the next game, if you guys have subscribed or seen the polls on YouTube, is going to be Eldar versus Admech. Yes. It's pretty, pretty spicy. Admech with the refresh with the balance data. Yeah, slate. they've been buffed in the balance data slate quite a bit. And I know that the cat from uh, Servitals and all that. Like yeah. Um, they get core, do they? They get core. In buns and better in buns. Better in buns, same with this guitar in here, we're gonna fire up in buns as well. So it's gonna be tasty. Plus, we're gonna do a thousand point format again. Uh, so I know some people don't like a thousand points, but it does make you think. And coming back to this edition, that's what we wanna do. We wanna like yeah. test everything and all that. Yeah, I think with with thousand points, it's crazy that a five man squad of sisters or a ten man squad of guard is so more valuable. Yeah. in a smaller game comparison to 2k where you can just literally throw them and it's like oh well yeah. I tried and it's so critical that you have these components obviously Axel may have changed it a little bit if you don't need true but you still have to have something holding back the line holding the objectives and like a little bit from my point I was all about like pushing forward with my like aggressive units and I'm like actually hang about what do I actually have to hold objectives not really many, so as much as people are going for like no troops, they have got the vi you know, like the viability sort of thing. Some some do, some don't. But yeah, I'll be holding the Eldar to account. Um hopefully bringing a lot of psychists to the board. I've got some some new units I've painted up and stuff, and they'd be really good for you guys to see them. And then the Admech, it'd be nice to see them getting re rebalanced back to sort of yeah. where they was. <laughs> yeah, they've more or less got the codex plus some buffs, so that's kind of yeah. Nice, you can actually read the codex and not worry about an FAQ or except the battle servitors lost battle servitor or whatever the keyword was, which means they could move and shoot without penalty. And they just got rid of that and never brought it back. I don't know why, mm. it is okay. Slight, slight changes, yeah. but yeah, so that will be dropping soon. Um, so they should look forward to that, and then we'll probably put another poll up. Um, with a couple with more armies for you guys to choose. And you guys can dictate what we play, and then we'll go from there. So if you are new and not subscribed and you have made it this far, hit that subscribe button uh, so that when the community post comes up, you can vote in it as well. Uh, and if you are a subscriber and you made it this far, please smash a like on the, um, on the video. There we go. <laughs> um, and yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, hit that subscribe, hit the like, all that other good stuff, and we will see you in the next video. Bye, guys. See you. So this was the wound roll, plus the two added in. What is it, Kyle? I'm just going to... Mess. I only was going to say guard is fucking awful, but then I realised that would probably give it away too much. Yeah. So I'm like, I'm not going to say that. Make him watch it. Make you. We're going to make you watch it then. Yeah. This is going to be uh, Right then. So three, two, one.